Hey, Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. So, we're here with Gumshoe, and I need to talk to him about the information that he just learned. Are you sure you heard right? That the person who bought this bear was... I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. This is a credit card receipt for the purchase. It's for $3,800, pal. That's the exact match of the price of that stuffed bear. A receipt? That's all you have? Oh, hey, it's a receipt, again. Uh, it's not just a receipt, pal. The store clerk said so himself. He told me I'm sure I sold the bear to Mr. Ongard. I mean, the clerk even got Mr. Ongard's autograph out of it, pal. So I'm sure that the person who bought the stuffed bear was Mr. Ongard himself. My... My sight is failing me. This, this can't be. Credit card receipt. Okay. But just because he bought the bear, does that mean he bought the camera? So what about the spy camera we found? Oh, that was a dead end, pal. I mean, you can get this kind of thing from anywhere. But for now, I guess I can give these back to you for your file away into evidence. For you to file away into evidence. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm gonna need that. I know you don't want to give up, pal. I never thought. I didn't think it was possible. The person who put the spy camera in Juan Carita's room was Matt Ongard. Why? Why would Mr. Ongard do something like this? I bet it was to catch Miss Andrews and Mr. Carita in one of their rendezvous. I bet it's not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. Are you going to see him, Mr. Ongar, I mean? Yes. I'm, I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I wonder, I wonder what we will find out next. Probably more drama. I'm scared myself, but I have to put on a good face for pearls. Matt Ongar, what in the world have you done? He probably doesn't even know what he did. I feel like people know that Matt's not very bright, so they just, like, tell him, hey, buy this bear for me. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, I'm not gonna ask any questions why you want this stuffed bear. Or, you know, being his manager, she might have been able to steal his card and buy it. You're working really late, you know, it's already past 10 p.m., dude. I think it's time you told me the truth. Relax, don't you know that ignorance is bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. Let's give this a shot. That secret. Now, let's hear what this secret of yours is. What if Mr. Karita had been successful in his plan? What would he have disclosed? Told you before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan, okay? Look, Mr. Wright, I can keep on saying it until I'm blue in the face, but... I totally didn't pay one any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on. I was in the middle of a nap. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Korea, especially on that night because of the spy camera. Do I, do I present the spy camera or do I present the receipt? I think I present the spy camera, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, Take that! Well, seem to go through. Someone used this camera to secretly film Mr. Carita's room the night of the murder. Secretly film? What? And then sent the images the camera took with this transmitter. Okay, I guess I could have done either one. Wow, but dude, where was this camera you were talking about hidden? It was hidden in this stuffed bear. Take that! The spy camera was hidden in this bear's eye. A bear that was supposed to be a present from a fan. Ooh, that's one. <laughs> I guess Juan had a few of those kinds of fans too, huh, dude? Actually, I wouldn't say this bear was a present from a fan. Hmm? You sure, dude? Who else could it be from? The person who gave this bear to Mr. Carita was none other than you. Take 
Mr. On Guard, don't you know this bear from somewhere? I don't think I've ever met Mr. Bear before, dude. Oh, but he says he knows you. How could you forget such a great friend? What else did the bear tell you? He says that the one who put the camera in his eye was you, Mr. On Guard. But I didn't know how you work in court. I think I was in some serious trouble. Come on, this is all a joke, right, dude? You're just pulling my leg. Looks like you're not ready to give up your secret yet. Well, do you have any proof you want to show me first? Here's proof that it was you who put the camera inside the bear. And I believe I have to present the receipt at this point. I have here one credit card receipt, Mr. Ongard from when you bought that stuffed bear. Dude, all you can tell from this is that I spent $3,800. I go to that department store all the time, okay? This $3,800, this could be the toothbrush I bought that one time. Uh, a $3,800 toothbrush? It's ivory, and it's got elephant hair for bristles. That's awful. Yo. Elephant hair? Is that what rich people use nowadays? Anyway, the store clerk clearly remembers you and your purchase. After all, you even gave him an autograph, did you not? Dude, you should have said that earlier. <laughs> um, so, can I ask you one thing? Yes? You're my lawyer, right, dude? So, if you are, then why are you looking into stuff like that? Because if I don't know the truth, I can't help you. Sounds more like stupid lawyer talk to me. But hey, let's stop talking about this, okay? No, not yet. I haven't asked why you set the camera up yet. And what your secret is. Of course, it would be strictly confidential. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to find out what I want to know, because I must. The reason you hit this camera in Mr. Carita's room and filmed it in secret is... Um... I'm guessing... This? Take that! Ugh, what is this card? Maybe he doesn't know about this card. This is a certain man's calling card. The man's name is Shelly the Killer, and I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Shelly the Killer? That's ridiculous. Well, why would I know some shady scumbag like him? I really don't know him, then why are you acting so jumpy all of a sudden? Um, this is it. I'm finally starting to get to the truth. I can't afford to make any more mistakes now. Oh god, that's a huge chunk of my health. Mr. Matt Ongard. I know why you know Mr. DeKiller. It's because you're Hero Justice, you're his client, you're a star. Because you're his client. Why does that one want to take so much health off me for getting that wrong? <laughs> Since you're the one who set up that camera, that means you knew. You knew exactly what was going to happen in that room. So, how? How would you know something like that? It's because you're his client. That's why. You hired Shelly the Killer to assassinate Mr. Karita. Mr. Wong Karita. The real mastermind behind this whole murder is you, Matt Ongard. Well. <sighs> Here I was trying to be a good boy for you, dude. I thought if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought, anyway. M Mr. Ongard, you really did hire? Hold on a sec, I'm gonna consult myself, okay? <laughs> consult myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer Dude. Oh, that broke the rest of the locks! Wow. Oh, what? How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I'm Matt Ongard. What? 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 Unlock successful, okay. 
what just happened. This music is cool, though. Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it wasn't easy to gather as much information as you have. You really- so you were Shelly the Killer's client? You don't really think I would dirty my own hands in this, do you? Wh what do you mean? And that woman, Adrian, was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime on me, I didn't think she had it in her. And all I care about is that one is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Warrior? That's... you're lying! What a terrible... It's way past your bedtime, little girl. Go on and let us grown-ups talk about more adult things. But why? Why did you hide the video camera and... A weakling soon believes the words of others, just like that pathetic Adrian. He knew about Miss Andrew's secret? And I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone, least of all the assassins. What? Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding a simple deed over their heads. And a superstar like me? How much do you think I'm worth, care to guess? And... and that's why? Yes, that's where the video comes in. It's got his face and the crime scene recorded on it, preserved for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay, and even blackmail him if I want. That's right, that video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? Because I'm a grown-up and I can! Good of an answer- good enough of an answer for you, little girl. Wow. This is quite a turn. Why? Why would you kill Mr. Karita? Because he was about to sling so much dung onto my beautiful public image. Scandals are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? If Mr. Karita had been able to give it, then Mr. Ongard's secret would have... Oh well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know. I had no interest in doing it, really, but bit by bit it crept up on me. And then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And that's... that's how Mr. Karita ended up dead? Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used, used and thrown away. Put on a sweet, innocent face and people will shallow, will swallow anything you feed them. Apparently I can't read them. Adrian fell for it. The assassin too. Oh, how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. Everyone all working their butts off for me. Mad on guard. Oh, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. How could I have been de so deceived by you all this time? When we first met, I asked if you had killed Juan Carita. And you answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. Hey now, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that the killer guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a cat nap in my room. You... you... you killed Mr. Karita! <laughs> I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. Mm. Oh, but too bad. You can't. You're my lawyer after all, aren't you? You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Oh, but you can't, can you? That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. Mystic Maya! You wouldn't want to test the killer. He's a man of his word, or so I hear. You could end up getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You... You scoundrel! So, if I were you, Mr. Wright Esquire, I would... I think I would give it all... give it my all to tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I... I'll get you for this! That's such a cliché phrase! One said something just like that in memory, sirs. Of course. Well, we all know how things turned out for him, don't we? Good night, Mr. Lawyer.
Maya. Maya, what am I supposed to do? And now... Now you finally found it. Oh, hi, Edward. The starting line of this case. Edgeworth? I don't care for the hard atmosphere here. Let's return to the precinct. Okay. I guess I don't get to break Adrian's psychwalk. What's... Well, right, what are you going to do? If you plan on changing your defense... No! You can't do that! That's right, he's holding Maya hostage. What... what should I do? That's not something I can answer for you. Mr. Edgeworth? Right? Only you can decide where to go from here. One year ago, at that time, I didn't truly understand what a prosecutor was. And that is why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, right, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You must find the answer, and you must find it on your own. Okay, wow, this case is wild. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time.